I have some miserable. <laughs> it's like everyone, yeah. It's my life is kind of confused, and I always working. Uh, I don't know what to do about what is art, what is life, and I try to use art as therapy myself. And I just use the lip. At that time, I was in New York, and I, I am a print maker, and I have a lot of leftover paper when you make a print. So and I use that to recycle of drawing. So I draw every day, you know. But mainly, it's like uh, the idea of yin and yang of form, to form, to mix together. I starting like a life form, to life form, to a biba, and then they kind of transform to become uh, nature, become cow, wind, landing, mountain, flower, animal, and become waterfall, mountain, and explore, you know, it's become universe again, uh, something like that, abstract. So, it's kind of try to spend time with that moment and thinking about how we come from by use the drawing and material. I use water, charcoal, and the air. I make a hole. Sometimes I use fire to burn the paper. So I try to use like a four element of human being, you know. That's in Chinese philosophy. They use, they believe it's we are combined, our body combined from water, earth, fire, and wind. So I use that kind of material to create the, the drawing and starting to, to see how we come from, from universe, from really a big bar, really small, you know, and developing. You know. But mainly it's more about therapy myself and question what is value of being here, you know, as human being. And how we come from and where we go, you know. And it's been almost two years, I, about more than 1,000 pieces. And when I have exhibition, and I always thinking about the creation, what is the meaning of, of creation, or what is meaning of art, you know, is on the process or is on the value of, of the product, of the art object, you know. So, and from that, I remind me about when I was young. I lost my mom, and I'm from Chinese family. When your body, uh, my mom was accident, and she lost her leg. So, and my, my father asked me to make the paper sculpture of her leg and burn. So, in Chinese philosophy, uh, in, in, in uh, Chinese uh, idea about when you are dead, next life, when you transform to spirit, you know, and then if you have body not compete, next life you may, may not compete body if you live on. So that is, they ask me to do it. And that is kind of Chinese tradition, they call Gong Tech. They build a car, a house, paper, money, and then they burn for the spirit to, to use that money after, after death. So, and that's kind of remind me in, in, in my life, in my idea about it's true, this kind of thing, and this kind of value, you know, what is the real value about living here as a good person, or burning some good material to your next life, you know. And I want to burn all my drawing, this project, to people who are creating before me. So it's kind of questioning about the value of being at the artist or creation. So you are burning to, to people who are died before you, you know, who are developing many knowledge, many creation. So I, and I want to donate that artwork and I burn for them. So I calculate for the time of three weeks every eight hours a day, and it's, it shows 1,000 pieces.
so it's about eight minutes a day uh, uh, eight minutes one piece I burn so and people when they visit to see the show at the first day they will see whole, whole room is a lot of joy but after at the end every eight minutes they will see I'm burning thing and then they kind of shocking and then they start asking me what you doing and why you doing so it's, it's that it's become conversation about life and art and value you know and for me that is kind of process of learning when you are showing with them also and in the same way in physical they can be in hell in your work your drawing can form to be the air and smoke and then they can beat it, you know. And that's kind of questioning what is the value of life and drawing of, of art, what is the real value, you know, and what they learn about. And maybe many people are surprised and shocked why you burn it. Many people say it's so nice drawing, but I'm not sure about what you're burning, but the work is nice, <laughs> you know. But for me, it's... Or someone offered me to buy the whole thing. I said, no, I don't want, you know. But that's kind of, you are testing yourself also, not about, about, are you really believe in this or not, you know. But after I did it, I, I kind of satisfied, uh, I kind of happy what I have done because I at least I take something out from my curiosity, you know my doubt, my curious. So when they did it, and then it's now I understand what is the real value. <laughs> what was the reaction uh, like 20 years later? People still remember this? Yeah, many people talk about it. When people come to research about me or interview me, I think it's uh, most people, they are surprised why I did that, you know. They, 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 they want to know why, you know. and and. They asked me why you burn it, and, and like uh, last year, they have one interview from TV. They asked me about my work, and then they asked about that, that story, why I burn it, and I tell them the same thing. And then they asked me, uh, maybe it's better if you don't burn it, and then you can show it again. Uh, and I said, if I don't burn it, you're not gonna come here to talk with me about this. <laughs> so that's kind of, you know. Why do you think this work is still relevant now? Uh, maybe people curious about, because they're expecting art is more about material or object. But when they transform to idea or energy, they're not really sure what it is, I think. And they are curious because that is the true value in themselves, but they're not really sure or something. And maybe this work is represent their value in themselves. And then they can see some hopeless or useless or really pure value what is they live for, you know? And then they don't know what to compare about. Maybe this work is provoke them to see about what is the real value of their being, I think. Would you repeat the same work? Yes, yeah, some biennial, they asked me to do the same thing. I said, no, I don't want it. They asked me to create the drawing and show and burn it. I said, no, I don't do something that I learned already. Just for show, it means nothing. I don't have to do the same, I mean. But I can do another thing that's I'm more interesting. And maybe not the same, but it's different. But more fit with my spare time now, you know. And that's more value for me. Not, I, I don't make art for showing or, or repeating or to make pressure for another people. For me, it's more about process of learning about my life and society or nature. So if I know already why I have to do it again, I, I have no reason. Just for big show, it doesn't mean anything. Or big money, I don't, I mean, I can do something else and get the same thing maybe. Or better. Yeah. For myself, it's better. <laughs>